here is where we exactly enter into our course contents that is we start from basic topology okay uh, as i have said you in the previous uh, class and in the previous courses uh, all those mathematical concepts starts with the fundamental thing that is mapping hope i have uh, asked you people to recall the fundamentals of the mappings and the types of the mapping that we have uh, seen till now okay Here, uh, I have given a diagram uh, where these two are the sets and uh, this is set A and this is set B. I am defining something to relate these two sets. Okay, the mapping definition says you that for every, which means, okay, for every X in A, that is in the set, for all the elements of set, I have to associate, okay. Or I can simply say there exists some y in B. This is satisfying the condition that f of x is y. Okay. So for every element in this set, I am associating some element in this set. And this association is called as the mapping. Okay. There exists y. Uh, here we must have include this also. There exists unique y in B. Which means... Uh, Okay, if I mark that in this color, okay. Uh, okay, here you can you can see that A1 is associated with B1 and A2 is associated with B2, A3 is associated with B3 and A4 is associated with B3. Okay, here there are some elements left. We don't need to bother about it. Okay, here A1 is associating with B1. Okay, uniqueness is there from here. Okay, A2 is associating with B2. Uniqueness is there. A3, B3. A4, B3. Okay. So, from here, from each element, only one arrow has to go. If this is so, this is a valid mapping. Okay. Suppose, okay. Suppose, I have A4 is mapped with B3 as well as A4 is going to B4 as well. So, in this case, this is not a mapping. Okay. Hope you can uh, recall the definition of a mapping. Next, <coughs> okay, here these two sets. Here F is defined from A to B. This A is called as domain and B is called as codomain. Okay, in the first uh, association that I have uh, given, that is uh, A4 is going only to B3. Okay. So, in this case, if you see, uh, if you collect the elements that are associated in B, which means those elements which have uh, associated association with B, that is, okay, let me write that as simply B1. B1, B2 and B3 have associations with A, okay. This is a subset of the entire B, okay. This set is called as Rain set or image set. Okay, sometimes uh, we may be asked to find the image set of a particular subset of A. Okay, let me write take E to be uh, A1, A4. Okay, only these two. This is my E. Now we may be asked to find out what is F of E. So, we just need to collect the images of these two elements under this association, okay. So, A1 is going to B1 and A4 is going to B3. So, this is the image of E, okay. Image of the set E. Here, uh, there are two diagrams given. Uh, two associations uh, you can see that these are valid mappings here all the elements are mapped with only one element that has to, that is the definition of a mapping okay if you see from here all the element is associated with only one element or is left alone okay here no element is left in the codomain okay so such kind of mappings is known as one one mapping and this kind of mapping is known as R2 mapping. 
okay so by seeing the diagram we can see by this way that this is one one mapping and that is on two mapping if we have to give the proper definition or mathematical definition what do we do here for all the elements in the domain see, usually we take uh, this is the domain and this is the codomain okay for all the elements of a codomain there exist at least one x in a such that f of x is y okay we are saying that at least one x which means that no element is left alone here okay or in other words if i take the image set okay in the previous example we have seen that the image set is a subset of that is uh, that b1 was a subset of b1 and it was a proper subset okay in on2 if you collect this one what will you get one maps to a two also maps to a three maps to b and four maps to c this is your entire b right so if your image set is same as that of your code of main then your mapping is on two okay here come to this okay here two different element maps to two different elements so, suppose suppose i am saying if my five maps to d and four also maps to d this is not there as of now okay if this is the case what happens here okay you just think for a moment if this is the case let me write uh, we know that this d is d okay this can d can be written as f of 4 and f of 5 whether it tells you 4 and 5 are same no right here we do not have this guarantee that 4 and 5 are same so in this case this mapping cannot be 1 1 okay uh, okay if that is so what has to happen if f of x1 and f of x2 are same okay if i going if i am going to write f of d d is same as d that then that tells me that x1 and x2 must be same which means only the same element is mapped with the same element no different elements cannot come to a same element this is the definition of one one this can be put in other way that uh, two different elements if i take two different elements in the domain this maps to two different elements of a codomain okay so this is kind of a this is uh, when when defining r2 we have some definition like this right this is similar to this okay such thing so here in terms of image we are talking something okay now in terms of inverse image we are going to talk something for which uh, we will have to define what inverse images are okay uh, for which uh, let me use this space um, okay let us have one two three four and only this a b c c is left alone okay you can see that uh, 1 and 2 maps to a and 3 and 4 maps to b and 5 is mapped with d and c is left alone okay here uh, in the course of algebra i have told you people that if we have to define the inverse of a mapping the mapping has to be 1 1 and 1 2 okay here we are not going to define inverse of a mapping we are just going to see the inverse image of a particular element or a particular subset of a codomain right so for convenience we are going to give this notation okay if i am going to find out the inverse of a okay this is all such elements in the domain okay that is mapped with a so uh, generally inverse image of y is nothing but set of all x in the domain such that f of x is y okay here it is not going to be a, it may not be a single element it can be a set as well okay f inverse of a what a is associated with 1 and 2 right what is f inverse of b that is 3 and 4 okay f inverse of uh, d that is 5 alone what happens to f inverse of c this is empty set right 
because there is no element which is associated with C. This can also be the case. Okay, so with the help of inverse image, we can define one one mapping in the way that uh, if you define the inverse image, okay, if you take the inverse image of any set, it consists of at most one element. Okay, we have said at least one element, which means minimum there must be one. Okay, here we are saying at most one element, which means maximum it can be one, else it is empty. Okay. Supposing if this is the case, if you can see the inverse image of A, which is 1, inverse image of B, 3, inverse image of C, 4, inverse image of D, 2, inverse, sorry, D, inverse image of D is 5, inverse image of E is 2, and inverse image of F is empty. So for all the elements in the codomain, the inverse image set is either consisting only one element or it is an empty set. If this is the case, we call this mapping to be 1, 1. 